Last year, I did something damn tough but fair. I platinumed Bloodborne. In the process, slaying terrifying foes like Father Gascoigne, Gurman the First Hunter, and Watchdog of the Old Lords. However, five more challenges await in Bloodborne's DLC, the Old Hunters. Ludwig the Holy Blade, Living Failures, Lady Maria of the Astral Clock Tower, Lawrence the First Vicar, and Orphan of Kos. I'm going to run the gauntlet. Hi there, and welcome to a Platinum Journey bonus episode. Six trophies in total, five for defeating the bosses, and one for collecting all weapons. Let's get going. should be left well alone. Back in Bloodborne. It's been a while. There's my outfit. <laughs> Ridiculous. I am on a new game plus, by the way. This does make the DLC more difficult. I considered reloading my save from before the final boss, but after clearing all the chalice dungeons, I'd be overleveled. Part of the fun of Bloodborne is dying, learning from mistakes, and becoming a better, more skilled player, not merely hacking everyone to bits with ease. So here are my stats before starting the old hunters. I'm sorry, I cannot pronounce it any other way. It's not the old hunters, it's the old hunters. Fiends, their children too, and their children forever true. Hunter's Nightmare. Oh, I have the nerves, I have the nerves. You're a hunter with your sanity, aren't you? Must have taken a wrong turn then, eh? This is the hunter's nightmare. Where hunters end up when drunk with blood. So, don't be brash. Turn back before it's too late. Unless you've something of an interest in nightmares. Who's this guy? Oh, you... Tough old fella. Not a good introduction to the DLC. What are these feckers? Another one. His weapon's range is insane. Stop. Fuck you. We get behind him. I remember my bloodborne training. Let's go down there, kill some beasts, go back and upgrade inch a little bit further every time. Don't try to do the whole level in one go. Just a little bit further every time. Relish that satisfying bloodborne loop. Explore a bit, kill enemies. Earn blood echoes, return to the hunter's dream to level up, explore a bit more. It's gonna be cool. Open a shortcut. Stumble upon an ominous looking area. Oh, 
Well, first boss. Okay, death is part of the process. Reverting to the classic look gives me some sort of familiarity. This is the outfit I wore defeating the main game's many bosses. I am confident it can do the same here. A lot of backing up in this fight, but Ludwig does leave himself open on a few attacks. Phase 1, done. Phase 2 is about staying close and circling. Okay, one down. No time to rest though, just a couple of minutes later. No break, huh? So, I just defeated Ludwig and his comically oversized swords. One hallway later, I have to contend with a lethal mage sniper and a relentless harpy. Are you kidding me, Bloodborne? Alright, taking him on at the same time is definitely not a good idea. Where's she? Oh, there we go, here we go, here we go. Come on, you beauty. Ooh! the other one. Okay, she's got magic, so I think I'm just gonna get in close. Where? Oh no, you're right there! Oh, fuck you. What the hell? Okay, I'm gonna get right up in her face. Whoa! Got so lucky with that magic attack. This DLC is tough. The research hall is spectacular. Winding stairs twist and turn. Each floor home to flailing, disturbing enemies. Making horrific sounds. 
Not a pretty sight, is it? The true face of the blood-worshipping, beast-purging, healing church. But that's not all. You seek the secrets held by the nightmare, do you not? Then here's what you must do. Climb the astral clock tower and kill Maria. She hides the real secret. Living failures. The second boss fight. Can't help but feel bad for these wretched creatures. A slow and patient fight. I keep moving, trying to isolate one of them for a few strikes. Didn't expect that. First try. I have a feeling this is another boss fight. It'd be strange to have a boss fight straight after a boss fight, but... Happened with Ludwig. Killed him. And then two witches after that. So, maybe. Come on, this is so obvious a boss fight. Right? I'm trying to lock on. Maybe not? Maybe not a boss fight? Oh, is this person even alive? I was wrong. A corpse should be left well alone. Oh, I know very well how the secrets beckon so sweetly. Only an honest death will cure you now. Liberate you from your wild curiosity. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay, learn the pattern. Doesn't seem to do that much damage. Oh, oh man, she's kicking my ass. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Jesus. Oh, she changed weapon. There's a moment to attack. Ooh. What the? F What the hell? What are you doing? Oh my... Oh, come on. She is agonizingly close to death, but it feels impossible to close the distance due to her darting around. I'm also running out of blood vials. Come on!
that was really good. It ramped up. Initially, I'm standing back watching, and then the range she gets with the weapons. Light the lamp. I'm going back and I'm upgrading. That was one of those times I did look at the health bar and it was so small. I said, if I just get in, I take damage, but inflict more. It was kind of a put everything on the line moment. Worked out. Arcane. Oh, wait, something I'm forgetting. Blood gem fortification. It's all about the physical attack. Anything that will do better? Oh, what am I doing? I'm making the game even more difficult for myself. Pay attention. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh no. Started at 327, now at 360. I'm doing this completely arseways. So, oh ho, hello. Cool. Here, the ability of games to transport you to a world that I could never imagine. This is why I play. Moments like this. Don't want to rush in. I don't know how cool your hunter is, but mine shrugs off a harpoon through the skull like it's nothing. <laughs> so, is it me or does that look like... When I made the original Bloodborne Platinum Journey episode and I said the most difficult boss in the game is Watchdog of the Old Lords. It took me several hours to beat. In the comment section of the video, people pointed out, or made the remark of, Ah, you thought that was tough. Wait until you meet Orphan of Kos. K-O-S? Kos? So naturally, I looked that up and... <laughs> thought, fuck that. But enough time passes and I'm looking forward to the challenge. Now that looks identical to the place where the video is from or where the boss battle takes place. If that's the case, am I almost at the end already? Already. Six hours in. Sometimes I forget I'm playing DLC and not a full expansion. Am I meant to try and get over to him? But there's five bosses, right? So that means there's another boss in between. Might be kind of thing of, like in the, the watchtower, going around and around and around, there's a boss fight before the boss fight. What is this? I was in awe at the start of Fishing Hamlet. A great big stupid smile on my face most of the time. However, now things are getting kind of gross. Anyone order escargot? What the hell? Uh, whatever that item is, not worth it. Get these things alive? They're not enemies. What the hell? Oh 
know that's to the beach. Nope, 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 nope. Nope. So when, where's the fourth boss? The fourth boss is at the cathedral in the Hunter's Nightmare. Lawrence. Gotta go back and fight Lawrence. And I think also before I fight Kaz, I hope I'm pronouncing his name right, I might not be. Before I fight him, I think I'll go run around and get all the weapons. Uh, although he does, I believe, drop your weapon. So I'll let that be the final trophy. Beat him and then get the final weapon from him. Here we go. I hate bosses like this. Can't see a feckin' thing. Can't see a feckin' thing. Oh god. Dumb, dumb, dumb. Dumb. Get out of the way, boils! Fuck's sake. <laughs> there was one of my health vials. Tried to grab me. Okay. Still learning the attacks. And he does a third. Oh, he does a fourth. Okay. And he does. Second, third, and a fourth. Okay. Two. Still learning. Why is better off? Going straight in. Nope. 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 <sighs> it's a process. While the game loads, in my head I'm running through what I think are his attack patterns and what I can do to counter them. One thing that would surely help is to stop getting caught in the doorway on the way to the fight. Get out of the fucking door. <laughs> okay, what are you going to do? Nope, they doom and then uh, you can have that. Yeah, I just, I don't know. Should I just be hyper-aggressive? That seemed to work. What the fuck happened there? Whoa. Okay. Oh, this. No, oh, fuck off. Getting battered. And now I'm out of blood files. Jesus Christ. Dead. It was new. <laughs> okay. Well, I beat him the first way, so I can, I can... 
a couple more attempts also results in failure. I change up my runes so I can carry more blood vials. <laughs> there go one of my blood vials. Okay, here we go. And he's gone to the left. Even knowing what is coming isn't enough. The execution must be flawless. Okay, let's go again. Hopefully for the last time. One, two, three. Three thousand damage, not too shabby. Oh, second phase. Serious damage. We might be done for. Yeah. My heart is thumping. I got through that way quicker than normal. The longer I hang around, the more chance of him getting me with something. Getting close, bold paper, just go for it. Get through that second phase as quick as possible. Oh my goodness, my hands are shaking. <laughs> Four down. Four down. I'm buying nothing but blood vials. 164, yep. Might need them all. So this was the boss you all told me about. So I've watched a couple of videos. Looks crazy. There seems to be two stages. One stage is madness, but controllable and kind of up close. And then the second stage seems to be, I know he equips clubs and then just rampaging around the place. Oh boy, okay, okay. Okay. Let's try it again. Oops! Alright. At least the elevator is there for me this time. Jesus fucking Christ. Much like Lawrence, it will take time to get to know my enemy. Gotta say though, I'm enjoying the first stage. This is cool. Oh shit, here's the... Oh god, okay, what the hell do I do here? Yeah. 
here we go. That was good. Running the fuck away. is watering I can barely see. This is the worst possible moment for my vision to be compromised. Close. Come on. This is it. <laughs> oh, my eye is so bad. I don't know what's going on. I can barely see. 100% Bloodborne, 100% The Old Hunters. So thank you for joining me for the Platinum Journey episode. Now for the Platinum Journey bonus episode doing the DLC. In regards to other Souls-like games, because I know some of you may ask this, I won't be doing any Dark Souls I'm not interested in the aesthetic of that world. Sekiro does interest me, but after this, I'm going to need a break. <laughs> so Dark Souls, no. Demon's Souls, no. Maybe Sekiro at some point in the future. But for now, thank you very much for joining me. And until next time, take care.